As I'm sure many of y'all saw, Apple announced a bunch of new products to their lineup last week, including releasing iOS 9 just this past Wednesday. So I thought we'd take a quick look at them and see what's good. First up, we got the iPad Pro, an iPad with an almost comically gigantic 12.9 inch screen. It's got their newest A9X chip and 4 gigs of RAM, and it's supposed to be able to let you edit up to three 4K streams of video simultaneously, which is actually pretty impressive. Uh, I'm not sure I personally have much use for such a large iPad, but I think the product makes sense because the screen real estate and extra horsepower let it be a lot more powerful and useful for creative professionals than just your regular sized iPad, seeing as how they released the new pencil and keyboard as well. But I'm very curious to see how the market responds to it when it's released in November. Speaking of the pencil, this is really a pretty cool piece of technology in itself combined with the iPad Pro. Something that should be very useful for digital artists. Of course, it's pressure sensitive. You can tilt it to do shading and coloring on the screen, do super fine cross hatching. You can actually tap individual pixels with it, and there's supposedly almost no lag when drawing with it as well. I definitely like to play with it, but it does make me wonder if Jobs is rolling over in his grave with the overall proliferation of product SKUs at Apple. I mean, there are five different iPad versions now alone, and a new keyboard and pencil. One thing I thought was funny is that the audience seemed to think Tim Cook was joking when he announced the name of it at the keynote. It's called. Apple Pencil. They also announced an updated Apple TV, now with a remote with a small touch surface. The future of television, they call it. Not sure about you, but their marketing superlatives are really finally beginning to annoy me. I wonder if we really need so many apps on our TV. And while I'm on it, Johnny Ives is a great industrial designer, but his voiceovers on some of these videos are just ridiculous. You just kind of want to slap them. Anyways, when I had an Apple TV a few years back, I always thought the best use of it was to view personal pics and videos from my phone. To view with people on the big screen TV when you're sitting around the couches or in the bedroom, stuff like that. But to me, I'd much rather have a small form factor PC running Kodi with access to an actual web browser hooked up to any of my TVs. It's just way more powerful and flexible. But that obviously entails a lot more technical know-how, I guess, than your typical home user. <laughs> then we have the new 6S and 6S Plus. Basically a new processor and 3D Touch built in. The only thing that's changed is everything. I mean, come on. But I will say that the 3D Touch is almost enough in itself to make it worth upgrading to, in my opinion. As apps build this functionality in, it, it's really going to be able to save you a lot of time throughout the day by giving you a lot quicker access to menus and actions and sheets and stuff. Not to mention the really cool things that games are going to be able to do with it. Finally, iOS came out this week on Wednesday with admittedly a lot of minor updates, which all add up to a better experience overall. I updated on Wednesday and really like it. Lots of little improvements throughout the OS, software keyboard improvements, fonts and spacing is better, making things just easier to touch and easier to type. You can send more than five photos in an email at a time. You get slightly improved battery life on a lot of devices, low power mode when your battery's running out, searchable settings, and a bunch of other small refinements. The biggest thing to me from it is the ability to actually do split screen now on the iPad, which is really cool. I found myself immediately using this and it's, it's really a welcome addition. It makes the iPad a lot more enjoyable to use now that you don't have to constantly be going in and out and in and out of apps. But that's it this week guys. I'm wondering if any of you have updated to iOS 9 already or any of you super excited to buy any of the new products they announced. Uh, let us know in the comments below and uh, have a great weekend.